All right, so let's go through your first few chords. And these specifically are going to be G, C, and D7. So as you guys are first starting to make chords, um, there's a few suggestions I have. And one thing is to get your muscle memory down. Uh, try to make a chord over and over until uh, your fingers kind of do it on their own. Um, and then also to have even pressure between all the fingers. So we'll go through more of these tips as we learn them, but let's start out and check out how to read a chord diagram, okay? Um, so a chord diagram has six lines that represent strings as well, but these are going down vertically. And then the frets are going across horizontally. And at the top is the nut, the top horizontal line. Although if it's a number, number other than the nut, usually that's indicated by a fret number. Also, you have zeros or O's that represent open strings and X's for when you do not strum a string. And then dots are placed on the frets to show what notes you're pressing down. On those corresponding strings, you're going to have a number and that number tells you what finger to press down on those dots. So I'll show you this one at a time. Let's start with the G chord. So here, there's only one dot on that diagram, and that also has a three on it. So you're going to play the, uh, the third fret of the thinnest string with your ring finger. And you only strum four strings, OK? So you can see there's an X on the thickest two strings. So don't hit those. Only strum these bottom uh, four. I strongly suggest you just practice making that chord and take your finger off, taking your, putting your finger back on over and over and over until it becomes easy. Let's go to the next chord. This is a C chord. Again, it's only on the bottom four strings. You're going to place your index finger on the first fret of the second string and your middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string and just strum those four strings like this. Okay, again, take your fingers off, make the chord, take your fingers off, make the chord. Um, try not to place them down one at a time. In the beginning, that's okay, but eventually I'd like you to try placing both fingers down at the same time. Let's move on to the last chord. This is D7. Here you're going to place your index finger on the first fret of the second string, your ring finger on the second fret of the first string and your middle finger on the second fret of the third string. And again, this is only the bottom four strings, so you're going to play like this. Okay, just practice taking your fingers off, putting them back on, and again, instead of going one at a time, try to put them all down together, just making it trying to grab that chord somewhat quick, but just take your time with it. 